Uncle Claude here once again, and this is NFL Hall of Fame running back Terrell Davis. As a Steeler fan, he gave us nightmares, and he is actually the main reason why the Steelers got knocked out of the um, AFC Championship game, and that was Cordell Stewart's first year as a starting quarterback in the NFL, and we were one game away from the Super Bowl, and Terrell Davis ran roughshod over our defense and beat us. But unfortunately, Terrell Davis found out what many of us already know, that even in 2024, almost 2025, that racism is still alive and well in the United States of America. The cold hard facts are, you see still, even in 2024, the fact that um, Terrell Davis, and this is him with his wife and his child, the fact that Terrell Davis looks like this, it doesn't matter whether, he, whether he's Terrell Davis, Hall of Fame, running back for the Denver Broncos, two-time Super Bowl champion, and the only reason that John Elway has two Super Bowl rings. Let me make that very perfectly clear. Whether he's Terrell Davis, Jamal Davis from Compton, California, or maybe he's Raekwon Davis from Harlem, New York City. It does not matter because over the weekend on United Airlines, that flight attendant treated him like just another N-word. And I'm not going to say it. We all know it. And Jamal, da and what, excuse me, and Terrell Davis, you see, had to go through that in front of his wife and his children. In fact, he was placed in handcuffs in front of them. So you can imagine that how traumatized he was. Because let's face it, I'm pretty sure Terrell Davis never had to go through this ever since his Hall of Fame status. I don't know what he went through as a young man. I'm pretty sure he went through everything that that most of us have gone through. But he but unfortunately he thought he was immune to that because he was to he is Terrell Davis, excuse me. But unfortunately, he got his N-word moment. And he is doing the right thing and I hope that he sues the pants off of United Airlines. And that clown should, the clown flight attendant should never have another job ever again. But it is yet another reminder that it doesn't matter here whether you have a PhD, whether you're a Hall of Famer, whether you're a superstar, let's say like a Michael Jackson. We saw how Michael Jackson was treated here. It just doesn't matter that unfortunately many of those other folks look at us as just another N-word. Just another reminder that as Kendrick Lamar so eloquently put it, they not like us. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. Uncle Claude signing out. Take care, stay safe, and God bless.